Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another Scorpio Love Reading. Uh, happy birthday to you, each and every one of my beautiful, beautiful viewers uh, of the Scorpio world. Uh, Scorpio, it is about you, so please enjoy yourself. Uh, go for it, Scorpio. What are you waiting for? What are you afraid of? Uh, you know, the only thing that can stop Scorpio from enjoying Scorpio's life is Scorpio. Not no ex, not no hating ass homegirl or no family members or anyone like that, but yourself, Scorpio, because remember, we are in control over our destinies. We create our reality. And even though the world may be crumbling around you or, or you may feel like it, your world does not have to be affected by that, Scorpio. Be the magician of your life, Scorpio, and get to manifesting. Uh, you should be out here enjoying yourself. It is your birthday uh, season. It is harvesting time. Uh, so just, you know, remember to sow good positive vibes in the atmosphere. Uh, plant those seeds so that it comes back to you, Scorpio, in such an abundant way. And, you know, I know things are not always as we would like them to be, but it's all a part of life's journey. Uh, it's all a part of it. It's not personal. You're just hoping that you can find some happiness within the midst of it all, Scorpio. And I feel like the universe allows us to find happy when we choose happy because it doesn't give us anything we don't already uh, plant for or say, because we do, whether we know we're doing it or not, we're asking for the universe to bring to us. So when we get negative things, sometimes it is because of something in us that has attracted it to us, Scorpio. But Scorpio, I see beautiful things coming your way now. I've been seeing I, here lately, I'm seeing a whole bunch of X energy here. It's like, what has happened here? You know, I'm always seeing the X energy here, but I'm seeing X energy, but I guess it's kind of good because the X energy that I see that's constantly trying to come back in, uh, you're not going for it. And I also see, you know, some, some relationships have the um, opportunity to mend it uh, and have something beautiful, while other Scorpios are just going to go on and live their best life and meet someone new, and it's really going to work out for them. So we're starting off with your true love reading cards here today. Your overall energy is forgiveness, Scorpio. It says, forgive myself. I am forgiven. Forgiveness, Scorpio. And I feel like this forgiveness represents a lot of different things. Look, sexual freedom here, Scorpio. You can be who you want to be. You can love who you want to love. See, Scorpio, forgiveness, sexual freedom. Ooh, in abundance here, Scorpio. And I also see yin yang and the silver waterfall. So let's start with these four cards right here, Scorpio. This is beautiful. You got life purpose. You're in your life purpose here now, Scorpio. Or maybe you need to know your life purpose here, Scorpio. Let me see here, Scorpio, because I'm going to read this. And I'm, I'm going to read this life purpose first here, Scorpio. Scorpio, I hope this video finds you guys doing amazing. I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. Scorpio, I felt that. Scorpio, I mean that from the bottom of my soul. I just look forward to you guys. When I see your comments, I just light up like... Like, you know, how like you, like you crushing on somebody and you, you see your phone lighting up and shit, you know what I'm saying? Then you go check your messages and Scorpio talking all that good Scorpio stuff. And I just be smiling and, you know, twirling my hair. <laughs> oh, Scorpios, you guys are so, so, so amazing, Scorpio. Whoever gets the opportunity and uh, the, the abundant pleasure of being in Scorpio's world really is someone who was hand-picked picked by the divine. You got to be a special kind to get a Scorpio. And I'm just saying, even on their worst day, honey, they can turn this shit around and get good. And honey, you really will have something in a Scorpio. I'm just saying. So this life purpose here, Scorpio, it says... Uh, your own natural intuition and the genuine wisdom of your heart is here to guide you. It says, remember that you are part of a huge family here on earth, connected to every living thing, including plants and animals. In order to attract the kind of love you want or rekindle love in your current relationship, 
It is necessary to be loved whenever you can. This is the higher life purpose for all of us. So this is, Scorpio, the highest life purpose for us all. And that is, let me say it again, uh, is remember that you are part of a huge family here on earth. Now, if it's telling you, remember that you are part of a huge family here on earth, there must be that you have a family somewhere else that's not earthly. It's got to be spiritual here. It says connected to every living thing, including plants and animals, in order to attract the kind of love you want or rekindle love in your current relationship, Scorpio, it is necessary to be loved whenever you can. This is the higher life purpose for us. See, it's love. See, that's why love feels so challenging to Scorpio because the biggest thing that Scorpio could ever challenge is love happens to be Scorpio's soul life purpose here, Scorpio. It's to conquer that love thing here, Scorpio. Now, let's start off with this forgiveness here. I'm going to try to move fast, Scorpio. Forgiveness because forgiveness could be you forgiving yourself, forgiving people and situations in the past that did not serve you and releasing it and letting go because you got the spiritual, uh, your ancestors, your God is there helping you because non-forgiveness is really a blockage and it becomes heavy and burdensome to your soul. It does Scorpio and, and, your unforgiveness ain't got shit to do with nobody else because they're going on with their life. They're doing whatever. Some of the folks ain't even around or whatever. And sometimes you just have to forgive yourself and look at yourself in a beautiful way and not only dread on the bad parts of yourself, but surely there is something good in all of us that we can love ourselves enough to know that we are worthy to forgive ourselves. Aren't we, Scorpio? Heck yes, we are. So it says, when you forgive yourself, Scorpio, and others, you create more space for light and love to flow in. It says, forgiveness is synonymous with love, acceptance, nurturing, and spiritual maturity because in reality, none of those energies are separate from one another. They all work together. The uplifting vibration gently and gradually dissolves all the guilt and self-blame you might have stored in your physical cells, your chakras, and your energy field or aura. Letting go of these old energies is a relief. And, and as this darkness disappears, it creates space for more light and the love to flow in. So the inner you, Scorpio, use this mantra, the lighter and brighter you will be. Uh, the lighter and brighter you will feel. Literally, it's what it's saying. You're going to feel this shit physically. It says most people think that forgiveness is about forgiving someone else. But when you start with self-forgiveness, you quickly feel um, more lovable and find it much easier to accept others and forgive willingly when you need to. This creates space in your life, Scorpio, for more joy and deeper personal connections. And your mantra here, Scorpio, is I forgive myself. I forgive myself. I forgive myself. I forgive myself. They said it four times. Sometimes you just have to forgive yourself, Scorpio. You didn't do nothing wrong. You know, everything is for lessons here because I have to do it to myself too. And then I have to rebuke it and denounce that shit. I'm like, you're an MF on lie. I, yeah, I may have did that, but hallelujah, I'm free. I think clearly now. I know better now. You know, I, how, how can I even beat myself about, beat my, beat my own self up about things that I didn't even know about? When you're a child, you do the childish things. Of course you do. And the mistakes are supposed to be made too. But look, I take it even further. At any age, at any age, you're going to do something stupid. You are. But that doesn't mean you're not worthy of happiness, forgiveness, and love, and better days. You don't have to dwell in the mistakes. Because life gives you so much more opportunities for something so much beautiful than anything you could ever have thought you failed in, Scorpio. And that's on for real, for real. Now, sexual freedom, baby. I'm talking about that sexual freedom, Scorpio, now. I don't know a spirit trying to give you the green light to go on out there and get your freak on because it's your birthday. Spirit might be saying, that, look, you know what? Uh, you know, go and take one for the team, Scorpio. I mean, I'm just saying, no, no. I ain't going to judge. Ain't nobody going to judge. Ain't nobody going to know if you want to just get freaky, deaky, leaky. <laughs> Then do you, boo-boo, it's your world. That's what that could be, what spirit is saying. It could be. <laughs> but I know that ain't what it is. That's just my Scorpio way of saying it. Let's see. Sexual freedom here, Scorpio, means, I feel like, that you don't have to feel pressured in relationships 
especially when you feel some type of spiritual connection with them. Does not mean you have to drop it like it's hot, Scorpio. They need to earn that shit. Because once you start being intimate, it's going to change the dynamics then. I'm telling you. You know, I just feel like we we feel in this human nature so such a connection with people that it seems like when things are going so good, we just want to just give it all, all, all. But that should be the last thing I'm learning that you give. That, that should be the last thing because we know that sexual energy and how you tied to somebody. It says sexual freedom and energy are dynamite to the human heart and soul, uh, affording a blissful opportunity to communicate and connect deeply beyond words. In our society, we often see the word, word love used in place of more appropriate descriptions like sex or lust especially in the media or social conversation. But how many people you have sex with or how soon is not a genuine guideline for sexual freedom, uh, nor is it a marker to measure yourself by. Sexual freedom in a deeply personal matter and needs to be explained with maturity and respect for yourself and the other. If you are seeking a new partner, it's essential that you are clear about how you value your own sexuality and be aware of the real important uh, impact that physical intimacy has upon your heart. See that? See? That should be a red flag every time. Scorpio, think about that, how the intimacy going to have an impact on your heart because we know that we be shooting out that, that galactic type of Scorpio love. And, and, and look, we get stuck. They get stuck too, but we get stuck. -er. So we have to be mine. <laughs> we got to be mine since we get stuck. -er. <laughs> oh, shit. Until Scorpio realized it wasn't even worth it. And then you're going to be stuck by yourself. That's usually how it is. So let me skip on down. It says, in an existing relationship, it can be delightful to realize that sex is much more than more intercourse and that you and your partner could reignite your uh, interest in sex through simple acts of caressing, hand-holding, and bathing together. You've drawn this card today, Scorpio, because it's time to let go of a social norm or ideal that you compare yourself to and give your sexual self permission to be authentic. True sexual freedom is about giving yourself a permission to express, explore, and share in ways that feel meaningful to you. Some of y'all want to be a freak, okay? And Spirit's like, look here, ain't no right or wrong way, but whatever you and your boo say is good, it's for y'all. <laughs> now you have this abundance. Now we know what this abundance is, Scorpio. You have abundance in your energy. That means that things are good for you. This yin yang is the masculine and the feminine energy. It's almost like the universe is trying to bring you to a mass to a divine connection here Scorpio because you got the masculine and the feminine here you got abundance you got sexual freedom you have forgiveness it's almost like you can have a lot of things but you got to be prepared to forgive forgive yourself from things that you did not know or understand forgive yourself for even if you did understand and did it anyway so what it's all a part of it we don't catch the universe by surprise we surprise and disappoint ourselves Scorpio and each other but it's all a part of a lesson here. So I feel like universe wants you to be free to express yourself, but you have to be in the right connection in order for you to feel free enough to open up to someone, especially in some type of sexual union here. It should never be a one-sided relationship. And so if you feel like you're going to find yourself involved in it, and I feel like spirit is just telling you to hold back, uh, you know, make sure, make sure you're getting what you want out of it. Make sure you're able to get, give in exactly too. Ooh, Scorpio. All right, now let's pull your tarot cards. Now, your overall energy here, Scorpio. Now, I don't know what's going on with y'all, Scorpio, but we're going to see. It's the Fool card. Some of y'all dealing with an Aries energy here. This is someone who wants to take... This is risky energy. Uh, it's starting over or, or, or a new beginning here. Uh, it also represents someone here, maybe childish or uh, living off the... Because after this card, you got the Tower card. So you got Aries, Aries, Scorpio in here already. Aries, Aries, Scorpio, the full card and the tower card. So either someone wants to, because this, this tower card, either this is something that has already happened. Uh, maybe, maybe you felt like uh, you, you, risked, you risked something and it didn't come out the way you wanted to. So let's see here, Scorpio. We're dealing with love here. 
So your overall energy is the full card. And it's not too bad because look, you got the four of wands too. So something something is happening here with the full card, the tower card, and the four of wands. This four of wands is a commitment card. It's harmony. Uh, it could also be twin flame energy here. Uh, this is someone who was ready to commit. And you see, this is like a couple. You know, it could be a same sex. It could be anyone. It's like someone wants to commit and settle down. Someone wants a higher level of commitment here. But I want to, I'm interested about this tower card. So I'm just going to keep on, I'm going to have to take it, y'all. I'm going to have to take that tower. I'm going to have to take that four one. Look, they go to ten of swords. Ooh, Scorpio, what's going on, Scorpio? Ah, here we go. Here we go. Let's see. Make some room here, Scorpio. I got you some angel cards here afterwards. Okay. All right, Spirit. What's going on with Scorpios? Uh, happy birthday, Scorpio. I hope I mentioned that to you. If I haven't, I'm mentioning it to you again. I really want you guys to really enjoy yourself. Um, allow that inner child to shine through. And yeah, I know I'm doing these cards, but it, it, it does so many wonderful things to your own energy. Sometimes you do have to get out and pamper yourself and just have a good time uh, because other than that, everything is going to seem robotical. You know, it's got to be some happiness and some fun times sometimes, Scorpio. And that's all I'm going to say. I'm just saying, Scorpio, and I love y'all. All right, Spirit, what else for Scorpio in love? Spirit, who's coming to a Scorpio's in love? So the tower card, mm, put in order, came out the Four card, the tower card, the four ones. So it's almost like someone wants to take a could be someone is coming towards you, someone who wants to take a risk, uh, take a leap of faith. And it could be something, it could also be someone wants to take a risk and something more stable with you. But if they do, it's gonna it's not like, almost like what they say for every action, there is a reaction. It's almost like if someone takes this leap of faith. Even in a different direction, let's say if this person takes a leap of faith in a different direction, whichever direction they go in, if they, they take this risk, they're sacrificing something in order to have this. This this could be it too. Somebody wants to take a leap of faith, but it's, it's something going to happen. If they take this leap of faith towards a commitment, then something else is going to come down for somebody. You could be dealing with an Aries because you got four ones. You got all fire energy in here, Scorpio. So look like the theme is, is now, Scorpio, is water and water, um, fire and water because we know for the longest it's been earth. So now it seems like the fire is trying to <laughs> creep back in, Scorpio. Oh, now you got that fire coming back in. All right, Spirit, what else for Scorpio? What's going on with Scorpio here in love? Show me, Spirit. The moon. You could be dealing with a Pisces here. See, it's something. There's something. Somebody's afraid that something will come down here. Oh, Scorpio, Knight of Pentacles here. Four of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Four of Pentacles. Ooh. This could be you, Scorpio. You could be saying, Ace of Wands, you, Scorpio, you could be saying, see, it's like, this is crazy. You got the full card, look, the star card, that's you. Three of Swords, that's in reverse, and I see the King of Pentacles here. So it's almost like it's, you got so many opportunities to start something new, but it seems like there's some hesitation here. There's some hesitation here. You got the full card then. That's a new beginning. Then that's crowned in the Ace of Wands. But when you move further, then you got the Tower Crown and the Moon card, which is the star getting getting your wishes fulfilled here. But then you got the Four of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. You're still holding back. Someone is holding back out of fear of the unknown because they feel like if they make a move here, it could be you wanted to make a move towards something more committed here, Scorpio, but you don't know everything. So you're going to continue to guard yourself, hold back. But the opportunities are here. Maybe you're afraid of a third party heartbreak here. Maybe, you, maybe you're not trusting something here, Scorpio. Ooh. All right, Spirit. What else for Scorpio? You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Aries. Pisces, another Scorpio, King of Swords. Woof. 
of uh, no wonder no wonder it's the back and forth thing going scorpio who are you dealing with libra gemini aquarius knight of wands huh queen of wands see there this is how they look at you the queen of wands so they're attracted to you somebody's regret see It's something going on with this person, Scorpio. I see the, I ain't going to take reverse, but I see the Five of Cups, the Seven of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, here we go with this shit again, Scorpio. See? Now, I don't know if this, this King of Wands, you got the Knight of Wands, the King of Swords. You got the Knight. I feel like this King of Swords wants to come in to you as the Knight of Wands here. But it's almost like you're you're appearing as someone who is well sought out, someone who is very, very desirable, someone who's on their shit, someone who's very, very attractive here. And you could be getting a lot of attention here, Scorpio. But I feel like this King of Swords wants to rush in here. But look what they're rushing in is the Knight of Wands because you got an opportunity, the fool card, either they want to dive in or just this person has something to lose and somebody's not, not investing. Somebody, either it's you, Scorpio, or this person here, but somebody's regretting something. It's five of cups and the seven of swords here. See? See, somebody's regretting doing something. So maybe you don't talk to this person no more, Scorpio, but they're regretting deception here. They're regretting something here. What is this, Spirit? What are you trying to relate some type of ten of pentacles setting here. I feel like this person was five of pentacles. So this person is feeling like this person. Now, either you are feeling regretful or feeling like this person could have did more by you or something. Or maybe this person is feeling this way. They're feeling regretful because they hid. They 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 were in the ten of pentacles, but they five of pentacled you. Oof, Scorpio. She now they're wounded now, you know. It's like this person got issues. Damn, Scorpio. Who <sighs> whoever this person is, Scorpio. I feel like this person didn't treat you right. But you obviously left their ass alone, Scorpio, because you and the Queen of Wands, Angel. We know the Queen of Wands ain't sitting around here crying about nobody. She's Queen of Wands gonna go out there and she's gonna make it happen. She or he gonna go out there and get their own shit. So I feel like, see, you got the two of pentacles that clarifies that somebody was juggling someone. I feel like this person is wishy-washy. Whoever, the, if this is not you feeling this way about someone, you don't really know what's going on. So you really don't want to invest. Although there is an opportunity here. You know, I feel like you don't, I mean, it's an opportunity for a commitment, but there's still, it's something that you don't see. It's something that you're hesitant about. And someone is afraid that they're going to lose everything. Now, either that's you or them, but they are steady attracted to you, though, and they want to rush in. It's like they want to come in here and screw, okay? It seems like somebody want to come in here and screw. Could be two different energies. You could have this Knight of Wands. You could have this King of Swords. So let's see. Let's start clarifying. Let's start off with the Fool card since that's the first one. Could be dealing with the Aries here. Your overall energy is the Two of Pentacles and the Prince of Cups. Three of Wands here. That's the Knight of Cups here. Prince of Cups. That's the uh, one on the horse. So this is the Casanova, the person in search of their love mate. So this somebody is indecisive about whether or not to pursue love with you, Scorpio. Or you may be, Scorpio, trying to figure out who do you give your cup to? Who are you in? You could be looking for your soulmate. You could be looking for the right one, but you may feel like this. It's almost like you're trying to weigh it. You know, should I, shouldn't? Is it even worth it? Because if I deal with this, then I'm going to have to deal with that. And then it could very well be someone is sizing you up looking at you like that, Scorpio. So let's see. Clarify the fool for Scorpio. Why is the fool card here? Fool cards clarified by the three of pentacles here. So this is taking a risk, trying to work as a team here. Then you got the prince of wands now. Now you got the same prince of wands. So that's that's a knight of wands energy then. I think because he on the thing. Oh my goodness, Scorpio. So this three of pentacles represents collaboration, teamwork, 
uh, working on things in a partnership here. So someone is trying to figure out, should they take a leap of faith? Should they try this, this partnership out? Uh, is it something that, that they can, can they work with you? Are you workable? Or, or maybe you're looking at them like, are they someone who I can invest with that I can work with here? Then let's see, clarify the fool for Scorpio. Ten of Pentacles, see? Ooh. Damn, I heard that shit. Well, damn, well, you just shut me up, whoever this is. See, somebody's trying to size you up. I don't like that. Look, the magician card with Pisces, see? It's almost like someone is watching you or thinking about you. And I can believe that. So we know this King of Swords, how they get down in their head. Look, look at this corny ass. No shade, but this is probably somebody who wear glasses. Who's a dorky? <laughs> All right, y'all. Let, let me calm down. Someone who's a nerdy type. Someone who is is like water and oil. I feel like it's an air sign. It's a king of swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. This is someone who is very, very cold, detached, unbothered. But they're looking at you trying to figure out. It could be you trying to figure out, should you take this leap of faith with this person here? Should you risk this partnership trying to build something on the long uh, long, but with this King of Swords here, I have to feel like it's the King of Swords feeling this way because they're they're analyzing things from a mental perspective here. But it's almost like they can't they can't get you, they regretting something, Scorpio. I feel like you must have ended it with somebody because this is how they're seeing you, the Queen of Wands and the Star card. That's how they're seeing you, and they're considering this this commitment. So maybe this person used to come in just just for this. Because they couldn't keep their hands out for you. Or maybe they were all over you sexually. Maybe you were re very reserved with this person on a sexual level here. Whew, Scorpio. But ain't that some shit this person probably ain't talking. But they show trying to sweep in on you with this Queen of Wands energy and hump on you, huh? So I feel like you must have disconnected from this person here, Scorpio. Especially if they were coming in here in this Knight of Wands energy. So you obviously left, and now this person is regretting it. So now they're trying to size up the situation. They're, they're, it's like this person is trying to figure out, can they make this work <laughs> with you, Scorpio? Ooh. Clarify the full card for Scorpio. Ooh. Ooh, see? The Hierophant. Ooh, could be dealing with a Taurus, see? Their accent, see? Ooh, God dang, see that, Scorpio? Because this person know they were holding back from you, see? Nine of Wands. I feel like this person had multiple personalities in their asses here. This person could didn't even really freaking know who they were, I feel like, especially the King of Swords. But they're regretting something. So either this person was with the Five of Cups and the Seven of Swords or something that they, that they were were hiding here, something that they wasn't honest about. And what they wasn't honest about probably was their worth. It's, I don't know if this person already had some type of established foundation with somebody. And this is what they gave you. This is what I feel like they were giving you the five of pentacles while they were living somewhere with ten of pentacles with somebody. But they're feeling bad about it now. See, the seven of swords, the five of cups, they're feeling this now. Ooh, now you got the nine of wands and you got the strength card. This person trying to hold themselves off for you, Scorpio, because they want they, they go to the ace of cups because they want you back. Ooh, here we go with this shit. Ooh, Scorpio, I told you how they be doing. That's a shame, but that's how they be doing. They, they be wanting to come back, Scorpio. Mm -mm. Yep, they want to come back, Scorpio. So that's what it is. This person wants... They're trying to size you up and see, is it workable? Can you guys actually work as a team to get this money? Because somebody want that money with that Ten of Pentacles, Scorpio. This could be someone who works a lot, Scorpio. This could be someone who works a lot because they, they want to get the Ten of Pentacles with you. Now you have this Tower card. Now, why is this Tower card here for Scorpio Spirit? What does this represent? Clarify the Tower. It's your energy. is Aries energy. The tower is clarified by the eight of disc. What is wrong with this here? So this is 
someone feels like someone may be feeling like they don't want any complications to arise when it comes to them working and getting their money. Somebody's all about their money, Scorpio. See, somebody worries too much. Nine of swords. This person is worried. This person is a, a, a workaholic. And they don't want anything to jeopardize their money. So it's almost like someone is attracted to you, but this could be a wealthy person that is watching you that you could have been involved with, Scorpio, but they were crumbing you. Or they, I ain't gonna say crumb you. Well, for some of y'all, maybe they were, because they, they're in the Ten of Pentacles, but they left you feeling out in the Five of Pentacles. Now they're feeling the regret here. Whew. So now this person, I feel like you had to leave them alone, Scorpio. Now you're in this Queen of Wands energy. You're getting a lot of attention on you. You're confident. You, you know, you're not sulking. You're not chasing anyone. I feel like you're just at peace and you're just having a good time. It is your birthday season. And so now this person is, is contemplating. They're thinking that they're trying to see. Because this person, I feel like this is a, somebody who has a lot, of, a, a, a lot of money, have a lot of stability in their life that they really work for and they've acquired. And they don't want nothing to crash that. Because you got the tower card. They don't want that to come down. And this is, see, this person worries about money. They worry about stability. With the eight of pentacles and the nine of swords with the tower card. They don't want some no surprises to come. <laughs> they don't want to be caught off of guard when it comes with the working together. Because they're working. You remember, they're going for the ten of pentacles. Someone may feel like your problem. Someone may feel like with this tower card, Scorpio, you could pop off at any moment and they don't need no surprises with you because they can't handle it. And you got the eight of wands here. This person's wondering, can they actually take, can they, can they actually move forward with you? Can this be something that can actually take off? So obviously they want you because they thinking about all this shit. Now this person is, is thinking about a long-term relationship with you and at the same time they're they they got the highs and the lows about you in a relationship with them Scorpio and this is crazy and if for some of y'all maybe it's you feeling this way but there's the highs and the lows there there's the good side and the bad side and I feel like it's king of swords because they they tapping on the good and the bad but now you have this four of wands here spirit clarify the four of wands for Scorpio Someone knows, see, three of wands. So this is someone who is planning for the future. This person actually sees a future with you in a commitment. Oh, or maybe they're trying to see if they can do that, Scorpio, because now you have the nine of pentacles here. So this person may feel like, I feel like someone trying to squeeze you in their life. Oh, So you got the nine of wands, the will of fortune, and the two of cups. So this person sees a future with you, Scorpio, but I feel like this person is just hoping that. So this is someone who is single, someone who was hoping that this time being single, maybe they were with someone else. Maybe this person is hoping that this time being single is going to be with the right partner this time. I feel like there's somebody had a, some bad, some bad experiences in some past relationships, Scorpio. And now they worry too goddamn much, Scorpio. Although they're in their head and they're seeing this beautiful future with you at the same time, they're looking at the what ifs too. And I feel like it's coming from something that they've already experienced that maybe they just, just got out of that. Or maybe this is just someone who is serious about their future. This is someone with the ten of, ten of pentacles and a half. And oh, this is someone who wants to, wants this. They want to, they, they want to believe it. They believe in taking care of the, the, the important shit. So with this four of wands and this three of wands, this, this is. Now, maybe this person is looking towards the future with you and turning their back on being single. And so this is what this person is thinking about. I feel like this person is, is looking at, because this person is going, is going to be gone, and unless this is to you, but I feel like this is them. They're going from a single person to a relationship, and I feel like this is why it scares them. And I feel like they're hoping that their luck is going to change. Maybe things will change in love for them if they settle down here, going from the nine of pentacles here. Who, Scorpio. This is, oh my goodness. Who the heck is this person here, Scorpio? This is weird. 
So the three of wands is waiting on your shifts to come in. They're waiting on something. So maybe they're waiting to become single. This is what they're waiting on. So this is what it is. This is why that three, this is why this person here at the seven of swords, maybe they were being deceptive about another relationship here, Scorpio. And this person is waiting to become single. The four of wands, this, they're in the four of wands. They're waiting to become single. And there's three of wands that are waiting on their ships coming so they can be in this nine of pentacles because they feel like things are going to turn around for them because it's going to be differently because it's going to be with you, the two of cups. See? Wow, Scorpio. That's what it is, Scorpio. So no wonder they're going back and forth in their head, Scorpio. This is why this person want to come in and, and, and do all this for you because this somebody wasn't honest, Scorpio. I feel like somebody wasn't honest. Clarify this ace of wands for Scorpio. Ooh, I'm so tired of these men and these these jack these these relationships are just just so. And I guess that's that's what it's about. But you just see the same old shit they did. You know, everybody want their cake and eat it too. Nobody wants to face reality and go it on and either ending a relationship or working it out and ending everything else that interrupts or interferes with it. But these masculines just just. They handle things so backwards. It's just, it's, it's almost like you risking them so much trying to wait on them to see what they going to, you know, it, it just, I don't know. This is crazy. But this one is waiting to become single, I feel like, because I feel like something is going to happen. Who's clarify this ace of wands. Six of swords, ace of wands, see? This is where they're leaving from. That they That's where they're leaving from. This is where they want to leave from here. They're trying to come to you, Scorpio. Now, somebody feels a, a soulmate connection to you, Scorpio. See, there it is again. They moving away from their four ones. Something about the four ones. It looked good. Some type of relationship they were in. They were in a relationship. The same four ones, see? They're moving away from there because they want to have a new beginning with you, see? Because they were not happy. This person wasn't happy in that relationship. Oof. Ah, oh, Scorpio. And ain't it some shit? It, ain't it some your soulmate in a loveless relationship with somebody else? Now, they went through all of this. They probably had a ten of pentacles with this four of wands too. But they wasn't even happy with it. Ain't this some shit? Oof. Ooh, Scorpio, look, FYI, I ain't, I ain't trying to fix nobody else's problem. If you in a relationship, y'all need to heal. Don't be trying to leave one relationship and go start something else. Don't nobody want that baggage. Get your ass somewhere and sit down and deal with some shit. You know, because that just means that your new person is going to deal with whatever unresolved things that you got going on. Because usually you're, you're running from yourself. It's not the person, it's yourself. So now we have the moon card. You could be dealing with a Pisces here. This is uh, intuition here. This is um, unseen things, spiritual things, secret things, hidden things, uh, fear, you know, things because of the unknown things that you cannot see. So you really have to look at it from a spiritual point here. Why is this moon card here for Scorpio spirit? Clarify the moon. The moon is clarified by five of swords here. Winning at all costs, or maybe this person here secretly, this is somebody's fear that someone is going to try to get over on them, Scorpio. Somebody fears that somebody always want to try to get over on them, Scorpio. Got the death card, could be another Scorpio. Oof. Clarify the moon card for Scorpio. Look at this person. This is how they view the world. Somebody always trying to get, get them. See, you can tell that this is somebody who stay in their head, who wear, who real reserved and standoffish, and in their head they thinking all types of negative shit that everybody always want to get them. They, they see there, this person they they see a lot of negative things too. This person may have anxiety or something here, because this person it's like they. It's like they're juggling, trying to figure out what to do, but they, they think it's so negative. It's just, they, somebody's very negative. Clarify the moon, clarify this moon card. Mm -mm. 
seven of cup, cup C. This person is just full of illusions and this person is very, very confused about what's going on, Scorpio. I feel like it's because this person is not tapped in spiritually. They're very carnal minded here, Scorpio. This is someone who worries. They worry too much. They think they think the worst things here. And this is someone who they will rather work themselves to an early grave than to work in a love relationship because it's too much work. This person is delusional. This person doesn't even understand love, Scorpio. They don't understand those cups and those emotions. They don't understand. It's just a lot of illusions and confusion with this person here, Scorpio. And they may be very, very intelligent, but when it comes to emotional things, they're clueless. Wow, Scorpio. The Empress here. See? I feel like that's you, honey. You the Empress. This person feels like people, maybe this person has, maybe this person feels like you're going to get them, Scorpio. Maybe they feel like you're the one that will really, I feel like this person must really have feelings for you and they probably don't want to. And they may feel like if they allow themselves to really let go with you, that you'll be the one that get them. And they don't want to be God. Somebody don't want to be God. It's their biggest fear, Scorpio. But but it's not all. It's not real. It's just it's just fantasy. It, it's just illusions here. This person and then thought about the wrong shit for too long. Give me another card for this moon card. Why is the Empress here? The devil, because this person has had a bad experience with their child's mother in the past or their own biological mother. And so something from their childhood messed them up and they've been carrying this burden ever since, Scorpio. I knew it was something. That's why I said this person got a mental problem or something. But this is childhood issues from either a child's mother that, that really acted out, a karmic baby mama or a karmic biological mother has this person where they can't even see reality. They can't, they're scary. Somebody, somebody is blocking somebody. Wow. I feel like it's a, it's either their mother. Cause I feel like it's, it's how they were brought up here. Maybe they had a very, very karmic mother here. So somebody, either the mother didn't love this person or teach them something because they see they see a lot of negative things in the world. So maybe someone sheltered them or something or, or didn't sh shield them the right way. Maybe they didn't make them feel safe and secure so they think all bad things are going to happen. See, it's the devil energy. That's all it is, but it's attached to this empress here. Ooh, now you got the four of pentacles. Spirit, clarify the four of pentacles. And someone guarding their everything. Now, this could be that person, like I tell you, this person with the tower card, they scared that, that, that they don't want no surprises when it comes with working with you with their eight of pentacles because they worried about it and their nine of swords and they wanted if they could, it should, if things really going to take off between the two of you with that eight of one. You see, they guarding them the same. They, this, this person, they think everybody want to get their money and want to get close to them and use them, Scorpio. They think folks have ulterior motives and things. You see how this person is guarding this? Oh, Scorpio. Clarify this four of pentacles. Sad. The star. See, this person here, now this four of pentacles, now this person is needs to heal. This person needs to release some things. Could be an Aquarius here. Because I feel like, see, this could be a Libra. Justice here. This person is not balanced. This person is in balance. See, they got their guards up. They got their queen of wands, though. Ooh, give me one more card for this four of pentacles. This is this person. Two of swords, see? There they go with that shit, not, not seeing nothing, uh, not knowing things. This person doesn't, doesn't see things clearly. This person's always indecisive. Ooh, this person got a bad problem, Scorpio. Whoever this person is, like I say, they hold back, but they can't help it. This person has some type of mental issue. I feel like something happened in their childhood. Maybe their mama was dominating or something. This person needs to heal. 
This is what they need to do. They need to release those burdens here. See, you got the justice card. This person needs to be restored back to balance. This person's not used to balanced relationships. They're not used to that. This person is used to this two of swords energy, indecisiveness, always in their head, uh, uh, not really seeing things clearly here, seeing things from an illusion perspective because their, their, their judgment is fogged up. It could be a Libra here. It could be an Aquarius here. See, this person got it bad, Scorpio. Who the hell is this? Whoever this is, Scorpio, they in love with you, but they got it bad. Clarify this knight of one. Let me know. Let's see. What's up with this queen, king of swords? Let's see about him. Who is this king of swords? Spirit? What does he want with Scorpio? Clarify this king of swords for Scorpio. Why is this king of swords here? King of swords is clarified by... The Prince of Wands. So this is a, a, a communication. Immature communication. This person communicates uh, poorly. Look at that four of pentacles again. <laughs> but this person here is not looking for anything serious. I don't feel like this person could do anything. Let's see. What does what, this King of Swords want with Scorpio? They find you beautiful and attractive. They go their queen of wands again. For some of y'all, this person's just turned on by you. They're just infatuated with you, Scorpio. It's almost like they're, they're in la-la land over you. Maybe it's a sexual thing. They don't want it to be over if you already broke it up with them. But I feel like this person is resisting change too, Scorpio. And you may have been sitting in this person's life for them to change something. After all, there is a soulmate connection right along with the will of fortune. It's something faded about you too. But I don't feel like they're learning their lesson, but I feel like you are. Give me another card for this King of Swords for Scorpio. Well, what do they want with Scorpio spirit? Seven of Wands here. So this person is fighting here, standing up for their right, defending themselves here. So this person may have may be upset with you. <laughs> oh, this person may be upset with you because you probably tried to end it with them, Scorpio. Oh, and I'm telling them quiet ones be them weird ones too, Scorpio. Because why is the Seven of Wands here? I said, what, what do they want with Scorpio? You got the Page of Wands. I said, the queen of wands and the seven of wands, like they want to fight you. They want to fight for you or they got a bone to pick with you. I feel like Scorpio. I feel like they got a bone to pick with you. Give me, why is the seven of wands here, spirit, for this king of swords? Seven of wands, <laughs> five of cups. So this person is regretting, Scorpio. They miss you. So this person, you may have someone blocked, Scorpio. This person may be blocked here. They're the queen of cups. But see, they're trying to come into you. I feel like in the knight of wands. And to clarify this knight of wands for Scorpio, who is this? Maybe y'all been in this knight of wands energy. Four swords here. Taking a break. Rest and rejuvenation here. This person wants to relax. Prince of Wands, see this person. Maybe you took a break from this person because that's all they wanted to do. Look, King of Wands, see there? This could be somebody else. You could have a, a, a fire sign and an air sign here, Scorpio. What's up with this King of, King of Wands? Smoke a lot of weed too, Scorpio. King of Wands wants your cup though. The King of Wands feel left out in the cold of your life. Why is this King of Wands here? So this King of Wands may be, um, this person wants to come into you and they want to, this person want to come around you and relax, Scorpio. This Knight of Wands, this, this Leo Sagittarius and Aries want to come chill with you is what I see. They want to, they want to chill. If you used to smoke with this person, they want to come and hang out with you and smoke with you, Scorpio. That's what I see. And that's for real. Meanwhile, this, this King of Swords, they attracted to you, but they're mad because you don't, F with them no more. Clarify this Knight of Pentacles here. This Knight of Wands for Scorpio. But the irony about this King of Swords that they, they if they wasn't so messed up in their head based on childhood, their mother or a, a relationship that went bad with their kids, mama, 
This person sees a long-term relationship with you, but they had so messed up, they wouldn't begin to know how to get it. Because they keep on seeing the good side, but then the bad side. Because I feel like this person's in something, though. They're in a relationship they're not happy in. They're trying to get to you, but they keep self-sabotaging because of them. It's almost like this person has a problem, and they're going to just take whoever get involved with them through shit, unnecessary stuff, dealing with them because they got mummy issues. Somebody got mummy issues, Scorpio. Clarify this Knight of Wands for Scorpio. The Hermit. <laughs> the Hermit and the Sun. You got a Virgo and the Leo. For some of y'all, this person here wants to go and hide with you. This person just want to lay up and just cuddle with you and just... Y'all just have some alone time, Scorpio. Could be a Virgo, could be a Leo here. You got a Leo that want to come through and chill with you, Scorpio. And they don't want no interruptions. They just want a one-on-one -on -one time with you. And this King of Swords keep fantasizing about having a life with you. But they crazy. <laughs> they got mummy issues. Now this star card for Scorpio. Spirit, clarify the star. A lot of air energy going on here, Scorpio. Six of Pentacles here. See, somebody wants to give to you. Somebody wants to be generous to you and give you gifts. See, some of you guys are going to start getting gifts because it is your birthday. And also, it's because you you shine, Scorpio. You're getting your wishes. Some of you guys are going to get a nice gift. You're going to get multiple gifts. Clarify this star card. Could be dealing with an Aquarius here. Queen of Swords here. Ooh. So some of you guys are going to get um, a reward or a bonus on your job because it's Queen of Swords. It's someone who is career focused here. It's not, I'm so, oh, I'm, I, don't, I don't see the Empress here. Maybe this Empress, but I feel like this is them. I just feel like you got a lot of different things going on in your life, Scorpio. You don't have time for mess. And you ain't got time for nobody who can't make up their mind or somebody who got mommy issues, daddy issues, whatever issues. I feel like you're not going for it. You're going to love yourself and you're going to do you. It doesn't matter if they're your soulmate. If they're not acting like a partnership, you're not waiting on them. You're going to live your best life. And I feel like people are going to start investing into you, especially if you own your own business, Scorpio. Seven of this, see? Somebody wants to invest. And see, somebody sending a... Uh, Somebody was is planning something here. Six from the six of pentacles, the seven of pentacles. So some something is coming, something is growing. Especially if you're focusing on your money, something is growing. Just just stay in this vibrant star energy, Scorpio. And this is gonna keep on attracting people, especially in this Queen of Wands energy. And I'm talking about attracting love, uh, uh, attracting more clients. It's attracting pinnacles to you. It is. Even this king of wands want to give you some pinnacles that they can get out their head. Now, this, I mean, this king of swords, but this king of wands, I feel like this king of wands just, just, just want to be around you, Scorpio. I just feel like they just want to be, they just want you all to themselves. I don't see nothing sexual about it. I just feel like this person just wants to be around you alone. Clarify this queen of wands. Eight of Swords here, stuck. Somebody's stuck on you, Scorpio. That's all they do is think about you. Somebody's in love with you. So maybe you stuck on this King of Some. Maybe some of y'all still attached to this King of Wands. Some of y'all may be in love with this King of Wands, Scorpio. You ain't got to, you ain't got to, <laughs> just wink. <laughs> See, the lovers. <laughs> Because they feel left out. This King of Wands probably ain't hardly got no money, too. Scorpio. Maybe y'all feel left out. Either you stuck on this King of Wands or this King of Wands is stuck on you, Scorpio. Queen of Wands, Eight of Swords, Queen of Cups, the lover. Somebody's in love. It could be a Gemini. But you got the King of Wands over here, too. So this is like a twin flame, but it could be a Gemini. With this Queen of Cups showing up, I feel like there's love in your life. You feel love towards this fire sign. But all this fire sign, but you got the lovers over here. So I feel like there's a lot of chemistry between this Queen of Wands and this King of Wands and this lovers. 
And see, I feel like you in love, Scorpio. The only reason why I say it because that Queen of Cups is right there. That Queen of Cups, that changed everything, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, this is crazy. I don't appreciate this, but it is what it is. Let me see. All right, Spirit, show me some more energy. What else does Scorpio need to know about love? Five of Wands, competition, arguments, disagreements here. Uh, competition. All right, Spirit, what else for Scorpio? Oof. Ace of Cups. Look at your Ace of Cups again. Some of y'all done took a break on love right now, Scorpio. Four of Swords. And some of y'all are heavily guarded. You're self-loving in this Four of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, you got the Wheel of Fortune and the Lovers again down here, Scorpio. Four of Cups here. Some of you guys are going to get bored. Some of y'all are going to get bored. And I don't care what you say. I'm just telling with these cards. So you're going to get bored because all of the offers, all of the folks who are trying to come at you, they ain't what you want. And fate is going to open up an opportunity here. And you're going to run into this person. And I feel like for some of y'all, <laughs> it's going to be that Queen of Wands and that King of Wands going to hook up. I feel like you're going to hook up, Scorpio. Let me see what it landed on. What? Well, let me find out. It landed on... It landed on love. <laughs> see there? Y'all finna hook up with this lover's card, Scorpio. Because I feel like fate and opportunity is going to step, step in, Scorpio. And then you're going to have a new opportunity to fall in love with, the, with this king of wands here, Scorpio. Or Gemini. Could be a Gemini here, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio. I see the Six of Pentacles here. There goes somebody want to be generous to you. Six of Swords moving on towards calmer waters here. Strength. There go that Leo, Scorpio. Some of y'all got a Leo that y'all gonna run into. Nine of Wands here. All right, let me pull some of these cards and wrap it up. Cause this, I don't, this King of Swords, it's just like, look, you got so many people coming your way for different things. And it just seems like these soulmate connections is just, just what they are, their lessons. Because you got the four of wands here. You got the lover's card. You got the two of cups. So there are soulmate relationships that are coming your way. Some of them are not healthy. Why some of them have the opportunity to repair them. Because remember, you do have forgiveness in your spread. You also have abundance. So it's like you have, it's like something is trying to take place in your life. But I feel like, Instead of waiting, don't wait on someone to get their shit together. You decide what you want to do and you move forward towards it. Because I feel like your career and your money is good. You're in the right energy to be in. And I feel like some of y'all going to hook up with this fire sign for some of y'all. Could be a Gemini. And I feel like this King of Swords going to miss out. And there, there are soulmates. You got, like I say, you got multiple soulmates coming in. So let's see. All right, Spirit. What messages do you have for Scorpios in love? What does Scorpio need to know for Scorpio's highest good? So you have um, Guru Ramdas, humility, spiritual practice, uh, elevation. Here, give me one more for Scorpio spirit. What does Scorpio need to know? You have Merlin. Ooh. You have Merlin and you have read them because I like 27 is right there so it says Guru Ram so it says your spiritual practices are the key to opening up your spiritual power and wisdom love and relationships relationships are not a competition um, say sorry admit when you are wrong and allow others the space to be wrong also we all make mistakes. That's what we were saying here. Well, this is what this represents, Scorpio. Your spiritual practices are the key to opening up your spiritual power and wisdom. So you have to constantly nurture your spiritual awareness, Scorpio. Then you have Merlin here. Manifestation, alchemy. 
That is the right card at the right time, Scorpio. If you don't have the life that you're in, the, the life you're in now is not pleasing to you. You are the manifester. You are the magician card, Scorpio. It says Merlin is best known as the wizard from the Athorian myths, but he is not just the stuff of legends. He is a powerful ascended master who can support you on your uh, magical journey. Merlin is an ancient wise one, a master of alchemy and keeper of ancient and hidden mysteries. He is connected to pagan and druid spirituality, and as with all wizards and witches, he works with the cycles of the earth, of time, and the planets to assist him in his manifestations, and he can help you to do the same. So the oracle is, you have the power, Scorpio, to alchemize this situation. Use the tools and skills you have at your disposal to create the outcome you most desire. Love and relationships, there is a time to be a hermit and focus on your own magical map path and a time to get out in the world and connect with others. Make sure you are balancing them both. See there? You can't just be in the house doing it at home. You got to put yourself out there. Scorpio, even if you have to force yourself to enjoy yourself. Honey, I went and treated myself to lunch today. It was just a little quick buffet, but I was alone. I ate my little food. I didn't feel no type of way either because you, you, you always... Look, if you depend on other folks to make you happy and for your life to move on, you're going to end up missing out. You have your life. Live it. Live in the moment. Be bold. Be courageous. And just expect magical things to always meet you along the way. You're only going to open the door for some beautiful things to happen for you, Scorpio. Don't trust everything about the tarot because after all, you're the manifester. You don't have to accept negative things because you're the uh, manifester. You can, uh, and even if it's raggedy, you know, you could change it too, but you're going to have to wait because free will is at play. But it's what they say, one monkey don't stop no show now, Scorpio. There's so many other doors available to you. I'm just saying. Anyway, Scorpio, happy birthday to you all. Thank you guys so much for rocking with me. I appreciate each and every one of you, Scorpios. Thank you guys so much. I haven't decided if I was going to do the Scorpio love chat. No one has said anything. And I haven't really thought of anything. I'm still coming off of this birthday high. So um, maybe we'll, we'll uh, you know, go live and chop it up and do something. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but thank you guys so much. Leave me a high vibrational comment in the comment section. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Thank you for those who have. I truly, truly welcome you and I thank you. Uh, uh, also, hit your notification bell to all, Scorpio. Make sure it's subscribed to all so that every time we upload a new video or go live, you'll be the first one with me because I got over 30,000 subscribers and every time I go live, I don't even have even... <laughs> Maybe a hundred, maybe. And I'm like, God, I be missing. Is it so many Scorpios that I don't even see anymore? Y'all, it's like they changing the algorithm. They keep sending me down in the hood side. Then they send me up on the bougie side. And then they push me down on the good side. But Scorpio, just remember brown eyes intuition, honey. You could always look me up. But thank you guys, Scorpio. You guys have an awesome day. And I will talk to you on the next Scorpio video. Bye, Scorpios.